In our first guide, we looked at how to load eyes on the solar system, how to go full screen, use the help page, and how to navigate around using the mouse. But eyes on the solar system extends from 1950 to 2050, so we need to be able to explore not just in space, but also in time. This can be quite a challenging concept to understand, but hopefully walking you through, you'll get an idea of how to explore from 1950 to 2050. We have two sliders at the bottom here. One is the rate at which time passes. So here, now, we're at one second per second, or the real rate. But we can accelerate and go into a time-lapse mode. We can say that I don't want things at one second per second, I want things at 10 hours per second, 19 hours per second, 3 days per second, 2 weeks per second. And here you can see the planets in the inner solar system orbiting in a time-lapse mode. You can even see the messenger spacecraft arriving at Mercury. If things get a little too fast, or you want to stop and start looking at something again in real time, hit the real rate button. But now we're at July 2011, about eight months from now. What if we want to look at the thing now? Hit the now button, and we reset back to the current day based on the clock on your computer. If we want to find a particular time in space, we can just use the jog dial under the now button, like the fast forward or rewind buttons on a VCR. Click and drag, things get quicker and quicker and quicker, we let go, things stop. And we're still at the real rate, but now again, we're in late 2011. Hit now again, and we're back in the present day. For finer control over date and time, Open the date and time tab, and you can change between your local time or universal time. Input text to go to a particular date and time on your own. Use the sliders to jump through time, and then hit the submit button to go to the time you've specified. Also, for some key missions, we've added bookmarks in time. Let's have a look at those. We can roll out the destinations tab, and then roll out the spacecraft tab. Under that, for example with Cassini, we have Outer Planet Missions. Roll that out, open up Cassini, and you'll see we have, for example, Saturn Arrival. Let's click on that, and Eyes on the Solar System asks if we want to change our time, which we do. It's now taken us from 2010 to 2004, and this is the Cassini spacecraft as it arrived at Saturn in June 2004. Let's go to the whole of the Saturn system, by double-clicking on Saturn. We can click and drag our way around, we can zoom out a little bit, and let's run things at an accelerated rate. And here you can see the Cassini spacecraft in its first orbit around Saturn. Let's do the same trick, but for the entire solar system. Open up the Destinations tab, double-click on the solar system, and here you can see the inner solar system. Let's zoom out just a little bit, Let's go back to when Cassini first launched. We could do it here by putting in 2000, uh, 1997, or under the Destinations tab, we can look at Cassini and do Launch. OK. And we're taken on board Cassini October 15th, 1997. And here you can see the Earth behind it. Let's look at the whole solar system once again. An overhead view. We can see Earth and Cassini together run at an accelerated rate of several days per second. And you can see the Cassini spacecraft doing its cruise phase, using Venus and Earth flybys, then a Jupiter flyby, finally making its way out to Saturn. So that's the time controls in Eyes on the Solar System. In the next video, we'll look at visual controls.